Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a post review of Medusa slash Sedusa from Diamond Art Club. Unfortunately this is a discontinued kit. This is no longer available for sale on their site. Uh, I don't know why it was discontinued so unfortunately I can't answer that question. Uh, but I finished it, I love it, and I want to share my experience for those of you who might be interested in pulling it out of your stash or those of you who are going to try and pick it up um, for a resale on one of the de-stashing groups or whatever. Also, um, just because I'm really proud of the way it turned out. I really love it. Did I just pull up a drill? No. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, so, let's start with the facts. This is from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Manny Manzano. It is a 51 by 81 centimeter round. Uh, this was, I think it took me two weeks about to complete it. I loved every single second of it. There was no time when I wasn't enjoying it. As a matter of fact, the last couple canvases that I've completed have really ruined me. I'm really enjoying the lighter uh, pastels and the color blocking and the bright colors. And now the painting I'm working on is dark and, and muted and I'm like, <sighs> you know. Uh, anyways, I made tons and tons and tons of adjustments to this canvas. Not because I didn't think it was pretty enough on its own, but just because like there are certain areas of it that just like begged, begged <laughs> for some bouging up. So I'm going to start with um, flipping this over so we can take a look at what is left over for drills. Uh, I had tons of spilling. Like, I don't know what it was. Hold on. Let me show you. See? They're like... I, I don't know. I'm going to have to clean it up later. This this uh, box thing, I don't know that I would recommend it. Uh, but, let's see. Let's begin here. We have an entire bag of uh, 310 left because I was not... I just didn't feel like opening up this entire bag for like 20 310s. So I borrowed from Nightbringer, which had four bags of 310 left. So I just grabbed from whatever was left in the bag that I happened to be using at the time. So I have tons of leftovers. I didn't at any point think I was going to run out. Um, tons and tons and tons of leftovers. Uh, there are certain colors that, you know, I knew I was going to have leftover, like 3865. I used almost none of the 3865. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. I also used none of the 954. I also used roughly, like, maybe a little over half of the 550, so there's tons of that left. Um, I also didn't use any 210. I also didn't use any 3325 or 3811. Um, so I knew that tons of those colors were going to be left over. Oh, I also didn't use any 917. So those don't count because I didn't even really touch those at all. Um, but still, tons and tons and tons and tons of leftovers of the ones that I did use. I'm going to go ahead and pull out... Um, these ABs so I can show you where those were in the kit. I'm gonna just, I, I just want to kind of just throw this whole thing away. I hated this box system, which is, you know, weird because I had such a positive experience with this canvas, you know? Okay, so let us start with the changes that I made. I need to grab a couple things. I'm also going to pull up a chair here. I've got tons to talk about. So, uh, the three AVs that came with this kit, oh, maybe I shouldn't be sitting for this. Yeah, I have to stand back up because I have to show you them, so I'll do that really quickly. So, I used these three AVs that came with the kit. This was, uh, hold on, this was 124, a uh, pink, oh, come on, focus, man. So, this is 124, a pink AB. Then I also used, or it also came with 126, a lavender AB, and 136, a blue AB. So these are the ones that came with the kit, okay? Here are where they go. 
So I'm gonna sit down for this one. Uh, the 136 is all over the snakes here and here and here and tons over here. You can see it better if I sort of wiggle. You see them there. So those came like that and then there was also um, the 126, or no, the 124, the pink one. I'll show you that one because it's easier to show you that one than the other one. So we have the 124, the soft pinks right here. Um, and then the purple is kind of hard to show you because I ended up using another AB with it um, in tandem. So right here, the lighter of the purple AB is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand back up and show you a close up of those. So here is the softer purple. So you can see how it kind of goes from white to a lighter purple to the deeper purple AB. So that's that. And then the pink, I'll show you the pink. So we have some of the pink right there and in the snake itself. And then I will go ahead and do the blue. You can see the blue right there. So now let's talk changes that I made. I added tons of ABs. And I'm also gonna show you the ones that didn't work for me. I wanted to make it work, but it didn't work. Let me grab those. So I have uh, 208, 209, and I bought 3607 special for this kit, and then I ended up not using them. Uh, here's why. This whole purple would, the, the whole snake would have been AB. And no, there's nothing wrong with that, but when you have everything else that has one, maybe two ABs, that would have been too much. I did, however, use three ABs here. I changed some 550, so I'll grab, I'll just go ahead and grab it all now. I'll grab it all right now. Well, I can't find it. Anyway, so, uh, 550, so I charted her face. None of her face got AB except for where it was already charted. So, for example, these little spots right here, those got changed. Um, 550, I only put the 550 in parts of the purple snake because this entire thing right here was purple, AB, 550. It would have been if I had charted it. So I decided not to. I decided just to do little lines and, and little bits and bobs, okay? Um, another color that I used, these are the ones I discounted. I'll tell you why I didn't use this one because it would have been, I think this color right here. So it would have been two ABs next to each other and then you go back to the fact that not every canvas or not every snake has two ABs on it, so I didn't use that one. Um, those were the ones that I didn't use. Let's talk about the ones that I did use really quickly. But like I said, I did buy those for this canvas, so I wanted to mention them. So I showed you the 550 and what I did with that. The 5200, so the only time that you will see the 5200 that, or the 3865 that came with this canvas is right here on top of her uh, eyeball and on top of her eyebrow and this line right here. That's it. Everywhere else you see the white, it is either 5200 AB or 5200 glow. Her eyes I charted in 5200 glow and all of the eyes of the snake are also 5200 glow. So I will show you what that looks like glowing right now. So that is what she looks like glowing in the dark. She's, I mean, I love this canvas. I will literally stare at her. So there's that, <laughs> okay. Um, another couple colors that I use, like I said, I did use the 210 in tandem with that 124, so you see it right here. Um, just just uh, as a segue. And then uh, the other colors that I use, 917 is what you see down here with the um, pink AB. Hold on, let me scoot you in and zoom it in. So that's what all that is. That is 917 AB. Uh, let's see, we're gonna have to scoot up now. Scoot up and zoom out a little bit. Okay, so for these three, 3325 is this soft blue that you see right here. Uh, 3811 is going to be little spots right here. And then this is the one I'm most proud of. 954 
um, I charted these snakes right here have the 954 in it. So anywhere you see the, or anywhere 954 was used, I ended up putting that there and it looks, that's kind of what kicked off this obsession. I ended up ordering sparklers twice <laughs> um, and, and I got here in time. I just didn't end up using all of them. Um, but yeah, so this, the reason I did that was because it looks so much like snake skin. Like here, let me go ahead and sit down now and I'll show you what it looks like when you run your hand underneath it. Well, I can't even run my hand underneath it there. Okay, there you go. It looks just like snake skin. The AB adds to it because it looks like snake skin. I loved this kit. There wasn't anything that I would have changed. Uh, the bits of trash was so minimal with this canvas that I didn't even bother saving it. I think it was like, I think there was maybe one or two ABs that the AB was on the flat side instead of the um, round side. And I think there might have been a couple little um, extra little bits of the 310. Um, other than that, like I said, I didn't even bother changing um, or saving the trash. Um, things that I would change about this canvas if I were to uh, chart it myself. Um, I wish that, so her eye, her eye makeup or her um, eyeliner here is actually brown and black. I would have just done it all black. I'm a fan of the um, dark, dark, dark uh, eyeliner. Um, the uh, shape of her eyebrow isn't so smooth. I'll go ahead and, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Um, so you can see that it's charted in brown and black. It doesn't, it doesn't change my love for it because far away you can't tell, but zoomed up you can. Um, the shape of her eyebrows, I feel like on the bottom it got a little wonky. Um, and uh, I didn't love like okay so when I was when I was getting ready to do her face I was kind of mad because I didn't want to have it go from um, there's uh, 310 and the uh, oh god what is it 3371 up here then into 939 154 550 and then the purple and then we have these shades here I didn't love the way that it was looking until it was done okay and up close it looks like she didn't blend her concealer but when you back up and you realize that what's happening is she's really coming out of the shadows it looks so much better now I probably would still change that and I might still take um, some of these provided there's enough left over and just fix that area I didn't love that um, but you add something to it when you look at the uh, glow in the eyes because it almost looks like her eyes are glowing well not in the dark because of the way that they've charted it. Another thing I didn't super love was this jawline. It looks like a little bit of a chin strap. Didn't love it. Um, would I change it? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it looks good the way it is. You know, zooming in, yeah, you can tell it's like not that great. But when you take a step back, it doesn't look bad anymore. You see what I'm saying? And then uh, the other thing was her lips. I almost wanted to make some of it 310 um, AB. Didn't end up doing that because what, what her lips are is 310 and 154 and uh, 939. Little bits, I believe there's 939. Yep, there's 939 in there. And it looks so good. It looks almost like an oil spill. It looks stunning. Um, so all in all, I made Tons of changes. Sorry, I'm have to sit down. My back is starting to hurt. I have back problems at however old I am. Um, anyway, so uh, with the changes that I made, with everything being all the white being either glow or um, AB, except for you know, like I said, her the line on her face and her um, eyebrow and her, on her eyeliner, I didn't uh, mess with that any. Um, with all the changes that I made, am I happy with it? Yes, I am 100% happy with it. I almost wish I could go back and do it again. I would buy this canvas. If Diamond Art Club put it back up, I would buy this canvas again. And I would make all of the snakes AB. I would search the ends of the earth to find ABs that I could sub in for all the snakes. I'll tell you why I didn't do um, sparklers, because the AB makes it look like snake skin. So I didn't want to mess with that um, like vibe that it was giving. 
Um, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, another thing I didn't really like was the charting of the tongue, how it's like almost like a, a reddy brown, but from far away, it looks fine. Let me zoom you back in so you can see. It doesn't look that great, but like zoom it out, you can't even tell. And there's another tongue down here. Um, yeah, I'm 100% happy with this canvas. I would buy it again. I would do it again. I loved every single second of it. Let me insert the footage of it outside. A little rainy out, so I put a towel down. This is Medusa out in the sun. You can see all the changes that I made pretty clearly out here. Let's see if I can get her to shimmer. I can't tell because it's, you know, always overcast here in Florida. But anyways, this is, this is her. I love her so much. She is my favorite uh, to date completion. So that is what this beauty looks like outside. She is, I, I love this. Like I said, I would totally do this again. Um, I would do Nightbringer again too. But um, I don't know. Maybe Diamond Art Club rounds are my jam and Diamond Art Club squares aren't. Because I haven't ever wanted to do Diamond Art Club square again. But every single time I finish a Diamond Art Club round, I'm like, I would do that again. So. Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me, I would like to see more from me. Please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right, I hope that you are being safe, watching, and taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.